So hi, welcome back. Uh, in the previous class, we had uh, discussed about the components of PNL appropriation account. So now in uh, today's class, in the present class, we will be discussing about some basic aspects, uh, you know, which are important with regards to partnership, uh, uh, the fundamentals of partnership. So we know that you know whenever there is a partnership firm. Uh, you know, it, it takes place because there are two or more than two partners who mutually agree to, you know, work together with a profit motive. So they want to earn some profit, but they are mutually agreeing to work together so that they can run some uh, business and through that business, they can earn profits. So such uh, an endeavor, such an activity is known as partnership firm. As per law, the firm, any uh, you know firm which is into business, can uh, you know would need some sort of a written agreement or a uh, or an oral agreement. However, in the absence of a written agreement, a verbal agreement or a you know the oral agreement will also suffice. However, in such a situation, it is always prone to some sort of disputes or uh, some sort of a discrepancy which could take place later amongst the partners. So they could be, you know, it can become a cause of friction or dispute or it could lead to the dissolution of the partnership firm. So why it happens is because, you know, an oral agreement, in case of an oral agreement, there is no um, proof of what was decided, mutually agreed upon at a particular date, at a past historical day. So, that is why it is suggested that most of the times one should have a written agreement in the partnership. Nonetheless, in case there is an absence of partnership, the law has you know given certain rules uh, which will become the uh, you know uh, which will uh, act as a guiding force on you know what should be done in case there is no partnership deed or an agreement amongst the partners. So like we, as we discussed in the previous class about interest on capital, interest on drawings, uh, salary and commission, uh, then uh, you know interest on partners loan and profit sharing ratio. Okay, so what is important here to understand is that in case there is an agreement amongst the partners, in, in the presence of an agreement, all these points will obviously be covered and mutually agreed upon by the partners. But what happens if there is no agreement at all and these or these points have not been covered by the partners? What, what should the firm do or what should the accountant do if there is no clause in the agreement related to any of these or let's say if there is no partnership agreement at all right so there are two aspects if the deed is partnership deed is there a written agreement is there amongst the partners but it is silent on all these aspects what secondly if the deed is not there at all it was just a, uh, a business which was started out of good faith so we'll understand that the first is the interest on capital. In case of interest, in case there is no partnership deed among, or no written agreement amongst the partners, the law says that there will be no interest on capital provided to the partners. So nothing will be given, 0% interest on capital. So that is one. In case of in case of the absence of partnership deed or if the deed is silent on interest on drawings then again the law says no interest on drawings will be you know charged on the partner's drawings then same goes with salary and commission so salary and commission of the partners in case the in case of the absence of an agreement or a deed amongst the partners no salary or commission will be given to any of the partners. Now, 
there comes another important very interesting aspect which is the aspect of another component which is interest on partners loan so interest on partners loan first of all we need to understand that interest on capital interest on drawings salary and commission these are all appropriations of the profit they are not a charge against profits whereas interest on partners loan is not an appropriation of profit it is a charge and it is to be treated as an expense of proper indirect expense so interest on partners loan in case you know a part, what is partners loan first of all partners loan is let's say there are two partners a and b and b has advanced a loan of 50000 to his own firm to the the partnership firm where a and b are the partner so now b has given a loan of 50000 but somehow misses out to you know discuss or agree upon the the rate of interest on that loan then what happens in such a situation the law states that interest on partners loan will be charged at the rate of 6% per annum so what we are saying here is that in case of absence of a partnership deed or if the deed is silent on interest on partners loan then the rate of interest which is to be charged on the loan is 6% per annum now where this interest on partners loan is shown def is will it be shown in pnl appropriation account obviously no because in appropriation account we had discussed in the previous class that only the appropriations are to be shown and interest on partners loan is not an appropriation it is an expense it is a charge against profit so it will be shown in the profit and loss account Okay, so interest on partners loan will be shown in the profit and loss account. On which side of the profit and loss account? On the debit side of the profit and loss account. So this part is done. Now we will talk about profit sharing ratio. Now this is a very important aspect, you know, because uh, when two partners or three partners, three people are joining hands to start a partnership firm, and uh, profits it is for the profit motive only and if one somehow some but you know all of them somehow miss out on this aspect that who is going to get what then what happens how to deal with such a situation in the absence of a partnership agreement or if the deed is signed in such a situation the profit sharing ratio amongst the partners will be equal now if there are two partners a and b only two partners in such a situation the partnership the profit sharing ratio will be 1 is to 1 in case there are three partners in such a situation the profit sharing ratio will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 and so on and so forth if there are four partners then one is to one is to one is to one so this is what it is about so if otherwise if there are partners people joining hands together they can obviously discuss who is going to get what share basis their mutual understanding and agreement but in case they remain silent on it if the deed is silent then it states that the profit sharing ratio will be equal that's all for today